I'm back here with a new video, guys. Right here, I got my tackle lots, and I'm going to be showing you all my stuff in my tackle lots. So, I've seen in a minute. I'm going to get my camera holder, and see in a minute. Alright, guys, we'll be back here. This is my lucky tackle lots, guys. I have everything I need for fishing. And because I like using lures and stuff to live bait and stuff. So I'm going with the live bait box. Alright, so in this box we got hooks, weights, and clips. Some like two let's see those might be three ops with a quarter ounce little worm weight with some low clips guys and yeah this is the live bait box so we done with that let go to my two lure boxes these are all like hard baits and chatter baits. I mean, not chatter baits, some hard baits to um, spoons to jigs. So, on here, I got a nice little, um, what is this again? Spits and popper, pop an image right there. It's a tap water popper. Next, I got a, um, not beetle spin, um, torpedo tap water little plug. This works good for tarpon. The tarpons, like, a lot of times the tarpons, uh, peel the paint off. Next, I got, I need to get a new hook for it. It's a blue little, a trap, it's a diving lure. Next, I got a, um, another popper, a, um, I think that this is a, your, this is a Usuri, I think, popper. Then I got a, um, oh, that one, what's a top water? This one is a top water, um, what is, do you call this? Spook. Then that all my hard plastics is set my spoons and stuff. Next, I got a little um. Oh, what do you call this? Crap! I forgot these um. What these are called? I found this one brand new, laying on the ground. It looks pretty good. And I used it a lot for bass and stuff. Um, I forgot that what that one is. You guys probably know what that is. Next, I got a I got a whole mess. I got um popping on jigs to uh regular spoons to a um like to a tsunami um. This spoon is my favorite. Right here. I just got it. I haven't been able to use it that much. But it's like a little shad, kind of. Tsunami. I have a bass one, and I used it so much, the tarpons peeled the paint off. And I got one... Four on hook in here, I think. And I got this little thing. I forgot what these are called. Again. But yeah. That is it for this box. This is, that is it for this box. Now let go to my soft plastics.
Wait one minute, let me see something. Alright. This is my soft plastics. I got a little bit of fish blood on it. It don't really matter. So um so hers is one of my favorite um redfish and trout lures. It's the um what do you call it? Voodoo shrimp. And next one, I catch a lot and a lot of trout on it. It's pretty lighter than a voodoo, but it's a um, tsunami shrimp. And I got one more tsunami shrimp in there. And next, I got these um, Zoom black and purple bass worms, or rubber worms, or whatever you want to call them. And I got some um, more usuries. I mean, not use Zurich, what the frig on? Zoom! Black and purple, but these are like a different size. Then I got, uh, I think that this is watermelon seed. Zoom. Um, then I got my favorite bath, I mean, not bath, so tarpon lure. I caught so many tarpon on them. I use the tsunamis and the power bait. This is the power bait, and I use tsunami paddle tails and power bait swim baits and stuff like this. That's I got like I got some flies and stuff like broken ones that I don't want to put in the fly box. I found this one, so I just put it in there. I got a little tiny jig that I found. I got. A little homemade fly that I made. Yeah, a little homemade. Then we got a, another homemade fly. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I got um, these, um, what you call it? Not flutes. Um, I forgot what you call these. Uh, they are like green and dark green with red and black spots. They are good bass bait. I caught so many bass. I had like 15 on them. 15 of them and I only got two left. I need to go buy more. So that is it for the soft plastic box. Wait one minute. I gotta keep on checking. Oh yeah, I got like two more minutes. Next, I got one of my favorite boxes that you're gonna be seeing me do a bunch of videos in about six more weeks till I get this baby off. Probably a week after six more weeks. So I can like get used to it again. But this is my awesome fly box right here and I usually carry this around and get this out so I don't carry lure I mean uh, stuff with it this is all my flies so I put extra leader in there now about like two times in there and I got some good ones in here I got like I got two sinking flies for salt water to Top water flies to if I can get this one on to um top water frog flies to everything. The only thing that I didn't show you about my fishing rod, the fishing rods, the last video that I put on was um. The only thing that I didn't show my brand new fly rod that I just got and stuff. All up in here, I got some, um, what do you call it? I got some yarn, so if I find, like, some feathers and I've run out of flies, which I'm not going to run out of flies that quick. If I run out of flies, I got extra hooks and I bring yarn and stuff so I can make extra flies. I got, like, hooks and yarn. 
like I got random stuff guys in here. I got cast net weights, the fish skills, the editing down here. A knife, the cut line and stuff, to tackle boxes pieces, to trash, everything down here. So if you like the video stuff guys, please link in the description if you like it. And I'll be showing you.